Life in a monastery. It's a special path that only a few choose for themselves, to commit their life completely to a sister or brotherhood. I visited the Evangelical Sisterhood of Mary, also called Canaan, in Darmstadt to learn more about their everyday life and what makes this place so special. I'm so excited to be here because I've been here twice already for a weekend and it was always such a great time so I'm super excited to show it to you tomorrow. When I arrived they had actually put my name on the door and I think the rooms there are so cozy and I felt right at home they even put a bible verse on your pillow so after a good night's rest I was ready. It's such a pretty morning today and I'm on my way to the morning prayer. I'm a little late but I'm excited. I just finished the morning prayer. It was really nice. I was so impressed. The sisters were praying for so many events in the world. They were very well informed. So yeah, that was really nice. And now I'm gonna change into some clothes that can get dirty because I'm helping one of the brothers who is responsible for the garden here. And it's, as you can see, it's so pretty. I'm sure it's a lot of work. So I'm gonna help him and to see what his everyday life here looks like. I realized that I actually don't have any clothes that can get dirty because I only have two outfits for the winter time. So I just put on my rain pants. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna be fine. When I arrived, Sister Priscilla welcomed me and brought me into the greenhouse and she gave me everything that I needed so I could start my first job. So right now I'm in the flower house and we just cut these off and now I'm gonna put them in some soil so we can grow more. I have to say I really enjoyed this work. I did not know much about gardening, but Sister Priscilla was so patient with me and it was so much fun to just create something that would add to this beautiful place. So I can see how this is a super fulfilling task that Sister Priscilla and Brother Pietro are doing every day. And then suddenly this happened. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Ik praat een beetje Nederlands, maar het is niet heel goed. <laughs> okay, so let me explain. Um, so the sister who I was working in here with before, um, I told her that I lived in the Netherlands when I was a child for three years. So she's like, oh, you have to meet the sister who also works in the garden and she's from the Netherlands. So she came by and she started speaking Dutch to me. And I'm so excited, like my Dutch is so bad by now, but I love practicing it. And she was so nice, so sweet. We had the best conversation. She told me about her family um, and her dad when she was a child during the war. He actually hid a Jewish person, um, which was so dangerous back then. And uh, this person made it through the war because of them, was saved because of them. Um, and that was like such a strong story. And. Um, yeah, it was so nice to meet her and such a nice surprise. I really love that. Then I met Brother Pietro, who also has a YouTube channel. In order to, to grow nicely, making flowers, they need nutrition. For our spiritual life, of course, it's uh, very important. There is the same principle. These plants, they are well off because here we are taking care. They, they get the nutrition they need. In our spiritual life, uh, maybe our youth leader helps us or our pastor, but in general, uh, I myself have to take care to nourish my spiritual life. After my work in the garden, I had lunch with my friend Deborah, and after that, I went to the afternoon prayer and met up with Schwester Liliana. As I wanted to show you this wall because it uh, looks not so special, but it is very special because it's built out of the ruins of Darmstadt. These are the last bricks and our mother house and the mother house chapel is built out of ruins. Okay, and now we are already in the chapel that I just spoke about it, that the sisters built out of the ruins of Darmstadt. And so everything that you see here is built out of ruins. And for us, it is so important to share this story, to encourage, because many of us um, never experienced war, but ruins, pieces of life, broken families, 
many of us know and that we can bring our pieces to entrust them the father in heaven and he said give it to me i will make um, a cathedral out of it the lord called the first seven young women to start a life together a community life we are all evangelical eh? protestantic it's not usual but jesus had this in his heart um, out of love for him he somehow stood before them and said would you follow me out of love in poverty in humility yeah? and seven of them said we want we want to keep together so this is kind of an important spot um, this is exactly the spot where I decided that I was going to do this bike trip. I had been praying about it for a couple of months and I had given myself the deadline um, to come here to the Youth Prayer Congress, UPC, um, and to make the decision here to talk to God. And I got exactly what I needed to go ahead. So this is kind of a nostalgic spot for me. I also used my time there to just reflect and talk to God and the next morning I was invited for breakfast by my friend Jana and her mom. So sad to leave this place, it's such a beautiful place, I had the best time. But now I am going home to Frankfurt to my family for a couple of days and I can't wait to hug everybody. <laughs> Thank you for making it to the end of this video. Now, please don't close it yet. I just want to say that I would be so, so grateful if you would comment, even if it's just an emoji. I'm so, so encouraged by all of your kind words that you have been posting under my videos. And if you could just subscribe or just share it with people that you think could be interested in it. Um, next Thursday, my next video will come out and it will be the conversation that I had with two of the sisters. They told me about their personal life, their personal journey, what brought them into the sisterhood, um, some challenges that they faced. And it was so, so inspiring to me. So I really wanted to dedicate a full video to it. So yeah, you will find that on my channel next Thursday. I hope you will check it out. So I will see you then. Bye.